Aloha Friday and happy St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. We begin today with the growing concern many Americans have about the money in their bank account as a third regional bank is bailed out. That's right. This time it was the banks themselves that gave a multi-billion dollar lifeline to the regional bank, First Republic. <laughs> This is the third rescue of a regional bank in less than a week. 11 major banks injected $30 billion into the California-based bank, saying the cash infusion was to show confidence in the country's banking system. As of yesterday, the Federal Reserve said it has already loaned out around $12 billion this week to cash-strapped banks through its emergency lending facility. Meanwhile, President Biden is calling on Congress to pass tough new penalties on executives of failed banks. The administration says it wants to expand the FDI IC's ability to get back compensation from executives who lead failed banks. It also wants to be able to bar them from holding future jobs in the industry and to impose civil fines against them. CBS News has confirmed the Justice Department launched an investigation this week looking into the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank in California. The Wall Street Journal reports the firm's CEO and CFO both sold stocks just days before the bank's failure. And and for more on this, we're joined now by Hawaii News Now's White House correspondent, John Decker. Now, John, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is assuring lawmakers that the U.S. banking system remains sound. But did those words calm the financial markets? The financial markets actually are not calm just yet. If you look at what happened, for instance, just today, uh, the Dow fell by nearly 400 points. Uh, another bank uh, lost a significant percentage of its stock price, that's Republic National Bank in New York, that had to be infused with a significant amount of cash from other lending institutions, other banks, and indeed other mid-range banks, other regional banks also saw declines in their stock prices. So uh, Janet Yellen is correct. Uh, there's nothing for people to be concerned about uh, if they have their money in a federally chartered bank, and all banks are federally chartered. Uh, and that would mean that your deposits are insured up to $250,000. Uh, but it has not been a good week at all for small and medium-sized banks. Got it. So people should not be worried about their own money in banks, is what Janet Yellen is saying. No, I, that is the bottom line. That is correct. They, they should not be concerned about their deposits, their ability to get the deposits that they have in their bank, wherever that is. Okay, going on to other political news now, the House Oversight Committee released new information on the investigation into Hunter Biden. Uh, what information did the committee un re uh, release, and has there been any reaction from Hunter Biden? Yes, uh, we're talking about Congressman James Comer. He's the chair of the House Oversight Committee. He released a memo yesterday with some of the findings, a summary of the findings based upon their preliminary investigation. What he's found is that uh, Hunter Biden and several other members of the Biden family, not Joe Biden, the president, uh, they received $1.3 million based upon a business deal that Hunter Biden had with a friend, with a family friend. Uh, and what the insinuation is coming from uh, the House Republicans who run the House Oversight Committee is that these were ill-gotten gains coming uh, from the relationship that this friend of Hunter Biden had with a Chinese energy company. As far as a reaction or response from Hunter Biden, his attorney released a statement uh, saying that there was nothing uh, that was improper or illegal uh, or unethical about these payments. These, this was based upon a business relationship that Hunter Biden had with his family friend, and this was part of what the lawyer called seed money as it relates to that business relationship. And speaking of President Biden, he's demanding the Chinese owners of TikTok sell their stake in the social media app or they risk a ban in the U.S. Why this ultimatum? Well, the ultimatum is coming because of security concerns as it relates to TikTok. Uh, TikTok is owned by a Chinese company. Uh, there are those who allege that this Chinese company has very close ties to the Chinese Communist Party. And as a result, the FBI director says that he uh, would not uh, put TikTok on his uh, personal devices because of security concerns that uh, China could get access, for instance, to the data 
contained on his personal devices. So this ultimatum uh, is being made to TikTok, which is either divest yourself of your Chinese ownership or we will ban TikTok in the U.S. TikTok has 100 million users just in the U.S. alone. Uh, but it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays itself out and whether indeed TikTok buckles to this pressure coming from the Biden administration. All right, Hawaii News Now's White House correspondent, John Decker. Always good to see you, John. Thank you.